in this video I'm gonna describe uh, the purpose of uh, the data and power terminals on a converse of 8 kilowatt. This model is also available at 11 kilowatt, but they look exactly the same. So uh, I'm gonna place my camera straight under the inverter and we will inspect all the terminals. So we have the power and communication terminals here. Let's start with the dual MPPT. Two independent PV inputs, four kilowatt each input. Left side is always positive, then negative, positive and negative. This is our AC input. It can be connected to a generator or to our uh, grid supply. This is only for backup. This is our AC output. We feed all the uh, loads from this output. And further right, we can see the battery terminals. This is our 48 volts input, negative, sorry, positive and negative. Here we use 70 square mil cables. At the back, we have the parallel communication kit. Read the manual before you install any cables here. It's very important when you use two or more inverters to connect them in parallel. RS-232 for data sharing. Twisted pair of cables for current sharing. Now we are going to move to the panel with all the data. Communication terminals. Those are all low voltage terminals. Three pins for... Uh, uh, normally close and normally open contact you can trigger a generator you can start an automatic transfer switch it is a general purpose dry contact as it is called in the manual the micro USB is good to upload and download data you can connect it to your PC and monitor the inverter using the watch power software next to it is the COM port the COM port is used for programming. You can upload a new firmware using the COM port or you can interface it to the solar assistant. The solar assistant is going to help you to monitor your inverter remotely. Yeah, quickly you can see the solar assistant. Yeah. Uh, and now this inverter has, uh, for first time, we managed to introduce a 12 volt output, three individual pins, maximum three amps, 12 volts. You can use this to power an LED strip, or you can power small devices like a hub, like your solar assistant, or other small, small devices. It's quite useful. If you run out of main circuits and transformers, you can use those terminals to power up 12 volt uh, devices. Uh, that's it, more or less. If you have any questions, please uh, uh, get in touch with Voltacon. Thank you.